So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah. So uh, sorry, we start late 30 minutes of some uh, technical setup this morning. Yeah, because this topic uh, is a bit complicated on the technical part. <laughs> So the machine also take a little bit time to calibrate. Even we calibrate all yesterday, but uh, come here, everything still change. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to the workshop. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. So my name is Kaden, or you can call me Mr. Lee. Okay. I'm from Malaysia. Okay. Yep. Uh, I start to work as barista about 12, 13 years ago. Yeah, starts from the very early before Starbucks come to Southeast Asia. So compared to last time, actually it's so difficult to get information and I have a lot of questions every day. I don't understand why my coffee keep changing and this is what make me uh, slowly get more deep and deep into the espresso. Yeah, until today I keep follow up all the technology improved. Okay. Uh, you need to slow down or okay, I will make the sentence shorter. Okay. Compared to today, uh, information is more easy to get. But somehow it's too much, and I guess uh, many of you uh, hear a lot of about pressure, flow, and everything everywhere, and start to become not clear. <laughs> Because there's too much and you don't know which source is uh, uh, trustable, yeah, you can uh, base on. <laughs> yep. So based on this, this chart, today we talk about pressure profile by bar by pressure, the pump, or you profile by flow rate, water per second. Yep. But this is just a very surface thing. There is still many expect changing the extraction in these two things. So as we know, traditional, we use nine bar. Yeah. But what we see of this line or this purple color line is the pressure from the pump. So it's not the real pressure happening inside your coffee. No, no, reverse. <laughs> yeah, this is all show the pressure of the pump. Mm, it doesn't mean the real pressure in your coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
và cái màu tím thì dòng màu tím lúc nào nó cũng mấy bên nhưng mà nó có sự thay đổi nhưng không phải là sự thay đổi trong màu sắc ok Anyone cannot, I will speak as simple as possible. Anyone cannot understand English here totally. Raise hand. No, don't be shy. If you cannot, then I will ask someone to support you. So if I just speak English like this, it's okay, right? Any part you don't understand, stop me. Yeah, I will talk, and you don't understand, stop me. Yeah. 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 I think this way more easy, right? <laughs> okay. So before we going deep on this, we need to know where is all the standard come from. This is a standard we follow. We don't know why we follow nine bar, but we believe we have to use nine bar. So now we have to see where is all this standard come from. So, what generate pressure? Most of the time, people think pump. So, do you agree? Agree. Not agree. <laughs> so, what do you think other than pump? Uh, I think it um, comes from the boiler. Come from the boiler. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No, no other answer. So everyone believe pressure come from pump. Okay. <laughs> We have a lot of different pump in the market. Yeah. So how do we can you differentiate this pump? Yep. No? Yes? No? This is the most common pump you have in your commercial machine. We call this rotary pump. Where all the big machines you will have this. Yeah, because commercial machine, we need this to work continuous. Yeah. This is vibration pump. Yeah. So vibration pump usually is in home machine, small machine, because the costing is lower. So if they put in the home machine, it's cheaper and everyone can afford to buy the machine. This is gear pump. Most of the pressure profile machine, they will equip with gear pump, mostly. Yeah. So, pump is one of the things that affect to the pressure. So, what else do you think? Anything else more than pump can affect the pressure? Pipe? Uh, do you mean the restrictor? Yeah, the flow. Okay. Yep. The flow is one issue. Also, oops. What happened? Basket. Yep. I believe you see some home machine have double layer basket. So their purpose is trying to increase pressure by basket. And you know the home machine, the grinder is not strong. So they cannot get a very good grind size to help on pressure. So they need basket. Yeah. So today, basket is very important in uh, modern espresso today. Um, Today topic, we are not going to talk too much, yeah. but uh, you can go online to find yourself. This thing really changing a lot of things today. So the last thing is what he said, 
Mr. Gong Bao say <laughs> the pipe, not the pipe actually, is a restrictor. So restrictor have many kind of shape. Uh, the simple one is they put a piece of metal with a hole and then they put the pipe here, connect to limit the water to go. So they use this water to brew coffee and this water can help on pressure. So this is the most common one. Or some company, they put a tube in the pipe. So yeah, they create a mini hole. So this is also a type of jiggler. Or well, we call it restrictor. Yeah. In uh, Lamazoko usually is a uh, one mm. Yep. If you want to improve your extraction better, you can ask to change to zero point six. You can fix yourself. Yeah. So before you have this pump, look at this a little bit about the history. So now, put two things together, nine bar pressure and the equipment. Let's see where is the standard come from. This is the first espresso machine in the world. Yeah, 1884. It's created by this guy, Angelo Moriendo. So this machine, no pressure. This machine only has a boiler and you put a lot of coffee here. You open up, the hot water will go through your coffee and you get a lot of coffee you share in the shop. So this is a very earlier machine. Because in Italy, last time, the fast way is mocha pot, but too slow. So they have to think how they can make a big one, boiler, they can continue to make coffee and serve it in cafe. So this is where they start. Until this second generation, the company La Pavoni, they improve from this and they start to introduce porta filter and basket, but still no pressure. <laughs> There is no nine bar at this time. So you can make the coffee by more control. So by shot. So you have single, double, start from this time. The idea is similar, but they improve the boiler, everything more stable. So you can brew the coffee by more control. And after that, Gagia. Gagia is the one start to introduce pressure by the lever anyone know everyone know lever machine like right? the lever pull machine so when you pull down the whole lever your machine start to do pre-infusion and when you release they generate pressure by the piston inside so this is how Gagia start to promote pressure this is a marketing last time because other company all cannot have pressure. So their coffee, no crema. When Gagia come to the market, they do marketing with the golden color crema on the top of coffee. And crema start to become a big thing in Italy. All the machine, you must have crema. All the coffee, you must have crema. And later on, everyone follow. You need to eat. Uh, to put pressure in your machine then you can get crema no pressure no crema and from here it's still not nine bar as we know lever machine working this way so you have a chamber so inside here have a space so hot water go in here when you pull your lever down hot water go in and fill up the space and there is a spring piston on the top of this part to load when you release this one push the water go down so during the water fill up coffee here 
coffee, the water start to contact with coffee. So this is the very earlier pre-infusion, how they can control by the level. And the pressure by this time is by this spring. So how many bar uh, last time they cannot control. So when you pull down your coffee, no pressure. Then when you release, the pressure go up. So when your coffee start to brew, your pressure start to go down like this. So this one can go up to 12 bar in last time. So, Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah. This one work by this. The the character of gear pump is like this. You can hear the sound. If you push more, the gear pump turn faster. If you make it slow, it will move slower. So this is how it works. This one turn. One question here. I know there's many barista here. Can you recognize which one is VST basket? <laughs> Is, is which one? Center. Yeah, yeah correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> VSD basket general have more hole than IMS. So here, thinner. This one thicker. Yeah. Two company. It's a company name, so VST and IMS. This one IMS from Italy. So that's why most of the coffee machine are stick to IMS. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, like Mazoko or, or any brand, Simonelli, everyone is used IMS. Yeah. Hmm. After that, you see many brands that do. Hmm. Victoria and Duino also do this. Yeah. So I call this is the first wave of espresso machine. Yeah. So the second wave introduced pressure. Uh, there is one same thing in these two wave is there is no electric boiler yeah all this is worked by gas under and they cook the boiler they boil the water yeah you just need to boil and then they have a general have some pressure in the boiler 